When you break it down, geo being the study of earth and spatial being the study of relationships. Geospatial is in everything that we do. Lots of people are nowadays utilizing GIS tools to their research. In criminology, they're utilizing it in, in flood mapping. When I started my PhD program, like I don't understand how mapping could intersect with public health. GIS can really be instrumental in solving research questions. People from Louisiana, California, New York, Washington, D.C., these young students, as well as our partners around the globe, are meeting and converging here in St. Louis, forming a new age of geospatial sciences and technologies that we have not seen ever before. St. Louis is clearly on the path to becoming uh, the, you know, the world center of excellence for geospatial. I was blown away by how much support there was and how much just excitement from partners who are in the St. Louis area. Every time I go to one of these things, like geo-resolution in the fall, I kind of get re-energized with my studies. It makes it even more exciting to see where my degree can take me. Building on like students' excitement for particular issues, especially related to like the climate and the environment, every university, industry, government, they're figuring out how to work together because I think we're stronger when we work together. The problems that they presented are really big global problems and we need really smart people working on them. The interesting thing is those students like don't come from a geospatial background. Like a lot of them are biology majors or math majors, sociology. My background is actually in classical archaeology. I'm a PhD student in a very niche lab. One aspect is how to translate aspects of human behavior during an emergency scenario into a model that a computer can understand. A tsunami evacuation, a really complex wildfire evacuation, my research is in the racial disparities and maternal mortality. Black mothers are at risk three times as much as white mothers. Intersecting GIS, like what's the access to public transportation to get to those prenatal appointments. I love being a part of research projects that can affect the community. And GIS is just such a useful tool for analyzing urban environments. Where are people? Where are voting precincts? Using those distances to kind of, I guess, come up with a accessibility index. Now as I come to St. Louis, I'll explore more about the city and what are the problems and try to solve something that will benefit the city. St. Louis is growing by leaps and bounds, opportunities and intelligence and geospatial. The St. Louis area has that young talent that we're looking for. The Taylor Geospatial Institute. I think it definitely affects the excitement level to kind of see geospatial excel in the St. Louis region. I mean, I don't think they've ever seen such a collaboration. You know, they really can go find a job wherever, just having those geospatial skills. In our business, it's kind of fun. All the cool technologies from drones to LIDAR, to machine learning, to AR, VR. When we're hiring a student, we want them to be a team player and know how to collaborate. I supervise a group of 17 analysts providing national security intelligence assessments up to the President of the United States. I'm really hopeful that students diving into this world, they're also taking a look at data analytics, data science. Machine learning and deep learning courses that are offered in our program are pretty, you know, up to date and state of the art. This conference really open my eyes to different opportunities. I think this really underscores that it's, it's now on the map. I wish to go into urban planning, you know, talking to different grad students today and different professors. You know, I've already had a few leads to follow. Challenge yourself to do something outside of the box because that's what GeoInt is all about. The next generation of GeoInt practitioners, and that's what makes me really excited.